In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Admiral Piet for the Vintage Collection. It's an action figure that fans have been wanting for a long time now, and I've personally been wanting a Piet in my collection for many years now. Last time we got Piet was, what, during the Power of the Force days? And that action figure doesn't look anything like Piet at all, so this one is a very welcome addition to the line. This is also the first action figure that we're seeing of this new Imperial Officer sculpt, and I have to say... It's phenomenal. But definitely the definitive Imperial Officer's body that we've gotten. And I hope Hasbro plans on utilizing it for many years to come. Stick around for this review as well because I do have an older Officer's sculpt that I'll show you and do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. And you'll see the huge difference between the two action figures. But anyways, before we get into the figures, let's go ahead and take a look at this package here. Nice image of Piet there on the Executor's Bridge. Admiral Piet, Return of the Jedi logo. Has a 40th anniversary sticker. It's VC270. Hunters now reviewed on channel. I'll be getting to the clone, Starkiller, and Cal Kestis next. And I do not have either of the Cassians or Vel at this point. So that's the package. Let's go ahead and take a look at the figure first. So as, as far as I can tell, this toy is 100% brand new. I don't think any parts are being reused. So the head sculpt there is phenomenal. That definitely looks more like how Piet does in the movie. He has the bags under his eyes a little bit. There's a little bit of that shadow going. His officer's cap looks good. It is removable. There's that nice hair sculpt there. And it's pretty good material for this cap. It fits on pretty good. Here's this tunic here. I'm not sure if that rank badge is totally accurate. or That might be more accurate to Captain Piet. I'm not too sure though. I'd have to go back and study the Empire's ranking system again. But to me that just doesn't look like an Ad Admiral's badge. Hasbro never really did a good job on its uh, ranking badges for its action figures. Oftentimes they're just reused and or they sculpt one. One sculpt of it, and then they just reuse it for all their officers going forward. And he does have the cylinders on, he just has the one cylinder there, not on that side. Has his belt there. And his hands are gloved. And his uh, tunic here also is separated here to where it gives more mobility for his legs. So nice that Hasbro did that. Then they have the cavalry pants there that flare out. And then his boots. So in terms of articulation, he is ultra articulated. He has the, the dumbbell at the head there. Extremely good range of motion. It's very fluid as well. He has hinged shoulders, he has hinged elbows, and he does have hinged wrists. This one goes in and out, and this one goes up and down. He does have a joint at the torso there. does have hinged hips, swivel thigh, and hinged knees, and rocker ankles as well. So definitive articulation for the Imperial Officer. In terms of accessories, he just comes with this one blaster here. And the way they sculpt his hand there is really nice. It's geared specifically for this blaster. Nice that Hasbro did that. I know in the past, oftentimes they would just sculpt the officer's hands into one sculpt and it would never fit any of the blasters that they come with. 
So nice that Hasbro did that. One last good look at Piet here. And before we wrap up the review, we'll go ahead and take a look at this older version of Imperial Officer. This one's Captain Nita. And as you can see right there, huge difference between the two. And as you can see, they both got the same rank badge there. And Captain Nita is obviously Captain Nita, and this is supposed to be Admiral Piat. So I wonder if they were going for more of the Captain Piat. A little less skinnier of a tunic there. And of course, this one doesn't had that split in the middle there to where he has that extra mobility for his legs. I never really liked how they sculpted the legs on this officer's mold. You see it looks kind of odd. Like he's got uh, something going on with his knees and knee surgery or something. Huge improvement overall though. And just in case anyone curious the caps are totally different sizes and neither cap works for the opposite officer there as you can see way too small or uh, Nita's cap is way too small for Piet there and Piet's cap is way too large for Nita. Other than that that's everything I could tell you about Admiral Piet here. Would I recommend him for your collection? I definitely would. He's the best Imperial officer that we've gotten to date from Hasbro Star Wars. I'm really impressed with it. I'm happy to have it for my collection. Hopefully we get a lot more officers in the future. Hopefully we get a new Imperial uh, female officer's body soon too as well where we can get like Usain Azard and Juno Eclipse and characters like that for instance. Moff Gigeroid is around the corner as well. Not too sure if I'm going to get that one as of yet. I do have the Saga Collection one from 2006 and I've been happy with that one over the years so I don't really see a need to get a new Moff Gigeroid at least anytime soon. Maybe if it's on sale. $17 for this is quite a bit, but for Admiral Piet, it's totally worth it, considering it's been almost 30 years at this point since we've gotten a Piet in 3 and 3 quarter inch scale. But anyways, that concludes this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more reviews in the future. There will be plenty more to come. And if you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate the support. Check out some of those links in the description as well. And thanks for watching.